Peace fam, Grand Rising. Um, I decided to do a reading today. Um, and I asked Spirit for clarity and guidance um, regarding family. Because right now, during this time, a lot of families are strained. A lot of families are, um, a lot of people are in separation. They are in isolation. And there's a lot of turmoil. Um, going on with the families connections uh have been cut they've been torn families been torn apart some families are reconnecting and that's a beautiful thing um but some people are still working towards that so i was shuffling and the first card that came out was divine lineage so i was like okay okay <laughs> i was like so all right spirit spirit talking to me i'm in tune i'm aligned and I cleared the energy before. Um, and the first card that came out was Divine Lineage. Then the Shame and Speak Up, um, Level Up, Soul Forgiveness, Creativity, and Feeling Safe. And at the bottom of the deck is Betrayal. So with these cards, um, I was listening to get the messages from Spirit. And as the first card came out, it was divine lineage. It's speaking and saying that you are from a divine lineage. And the number on this card is six. So um, you might have been born at the sixth of the month. You might have been born um, during the sixth month, during June. Um, six might be your life path number. You might be a Virgo. So uh, with divine lineage, it's just basically saying that you are from a divine lineage or you are creating a divine lineage. Um, but the message that I got was that you are from a divine lineage, even if you don't know it, the um, generations before you, the ones that you don't know of, your lineage is divine. But, you know, a lot of things came in that polluted our, our bloodlines. But you're, and they call shame. They call shame. Um, you may be ashamed of your lineage. Like maybe you may be feeling like maybe you need to be a tarot card reader. You maybe feel like you need to uh, delve into astrology or numerology or um, the occult or any kind of spiritual practice that may not align with the life that you were given. Uh, maybe you grew up in a church, maybe you are religious, maybe you grew up atheist and your family does not believe in spirituality or they don't believe in religion or anything like that or any higher power. So you tapping into your divine lineage, tapping into spirituality, religion, whatever your, the, your divine lineage is, um, you feel shameful of it or your family might be ashamed of it they may not approve of it and this is causing betrayal you feel betrayed or they feel like you betrayed them trust was betrayed at some point but um source is telling you to speak up speak your truth don't hold back don't don't let shame or fear stop you from tapping into your divine lineage because once you tap into your divine lineage, I feel like some of you have already, this is a general reading, so I'm reading for multiple people, but I feel like some of you have already tapped into that divine lineage. And through your process of healing and working through, you got to a point where you forgave yourself, you forgave your soul, you have soul forgiveness, and that is creating a safe place for your lineage like i said you're creating a divine lineage so you come from one but it may have skipped a couple generations because of all the things you know our our bloodlines were polluted and we were given different ideologies and practices that did not align with our divine lineage so you are recreating that divine lineage and it's calling causing you to level up to get to the next point in your life to be who you were born to be to bring your lineage back into divinity back into alignment celestial alignment so through you forgiving yourself forgiving your ancestors forgiving the betrayals the hurts the pains under his manifestation 
you find you you know following your intuition you have to forgive yourself so that your intuition can be unblocked and your manifestations can come true but you have to forgive those betrayals you have to forgive yourself yourself for betraying you you have to forgive your ancestors if you feel like they betrayed you you have to forgive your parents your grandparents your relatives your family forgive yourself first and then forgive them as well so that your lineage your kids can feel safe so that you your inner child can feel safe so that you can hone your creativity and create the life that you want create the divine lineage recreate that because you come from it that's gonna cause you to level up you will level up so just that was the message for today's source said let go of the shame let go of the portrayal forgive yourself forgive others your family your ancestors so that you can get back on track to creating this divine lineage so that you can you can be creative you can unlock your intuition unlock your intuition unlock the desires of your heart and you're gonna be liberated you will be liberated and you're gonna have your harvest and look at rage in reverse. Rage in reverse. Let go of that rage. Let go of that shame. <laughs> so you can get your harvest. So you can be liberated. Your soul, your heart wants to be free. Soul forgiveness, it wants to be free. So you can let, let the desires of your heart come through. And your intuition and your creativity is going to bring in that harvest. It's going to bring in your level up. You just have to... Forgive yourself so that you can feel safe. Forgive those, your family, forgive others so that you can feel safe and your, your divine lineage can feel safe and your manifestations will come true. That's it. Well, you know what? Let me do, I'm going to do an um, affirmation card. I'm going to end it with an affirmation card. But yes, you just forgive. Forgive yourself, forgive others, love yourself. Source of Thine Spirit, guys, give me an affirmation card to fear. Fear. Didn't I tell y'all? <laughs> Gotta let it go. It says fear, particularly the fear of failure, is the main thing that holds us back in life. However, when we look logically at this fear and realize that setbacks are not the end of the world, but in fact, they can be used to drive our future successes. We free ourselves to face challenges with a clear and confident attitude and strive freely towards becoming our best selves. And I, didn't it show the liberation card? Soul forgiveness. I told you, don't let fear and shame. And this card came out. And the affirmations for it is, I am fearless in the face of failure. I will not let fear prevent me from being my best self. And it's saying, so you create this divine lineage. Be yourself. Speak up. Speak your truth. Just repeat this. Um, today is the new moon in Virgo. You can utilize this uh, affirmation with this new moon in Virgo. I am fearless in the face of failure. I will not let fear I will, I'm sorry, I will not let fear prevent me from being my best self. I am fearless in the face of failure. I will not let fear prevent me from being my best self. You better not let fear prevent you from being your best self. Forgive yourself. Forgive your family so that you can feel safe. Your inner child can feel safe and you can get this level up and you can connect. Get into celestial alignment. Get connect with your divine lineage. Create that divine lineage. Speak up. Speak your truth. Don't let fear stop you from speaking your truth. And speaking your truth does not mean you have to say the words out of your mouth. It just means that you can, if you post um, inspirational things on social media, I do that. If you do this, tarot, read, tarot reading. If you um, do oracle readings, these are oracle cards. Whatever you do, do that. Speak your truth. If, if speaking your th your truth is just through you living authentically, then that's what you do. But you do it. Don't let nobody stop you from doing what you need. Don't let shame, fear, doubt, self-sabotage, procrastination, none of those things stop you from doing what you need to do and being who you need to do to get you to where you need to go so that you can clear the road, the pathways for your lineage. 
Your children are waiting for you. Your inner child wants to speak up. It wants to be seen, wants to be creative, wants to birth these new realities. It wants to feel safe within you so that it can assist you on your level up. Because baby, once you integrate, once you let go of those shame and all those low vibrational emotions and energies, you will level up. And your spirit guides and your ancestors, they want to help you guide, source, the divine, whoever you, you know, whoever you follow, they want to help you. So just forgive and open your heart, open your heart chakra and blessings going to come. It's, it's the new moon in Virgo, baby, manifest it. I love y'all. Peace. Love yourself. Listen to source. Listen to your intuition and forgive and just create. That's what you're here for, to create and live authentically. I love y'all, peace.